Hello everybody and welcome once again to All The Mods 4, episode 16. So, this episode I would like to go to the End City and see if we can actually get there without having to kill the Ender Dragon. You'll see in front of me there's a little Bruce Town. I was making some fire resistance potion 8 minutes for going to the uh, yeah, Nether and getting a few blaze rods. Actually what I wanted to do is I wanted to fill up some of these soul jars. But we have to make, to do that we have to make something first of all. And what we have to make is a sodium dagger I think it's called. We can make that actually. Let's do that before we start and do anything else. So I actually have prepared the stuff that we needed for that. So this is this slot. Uh, and that was the pattern, I think, if I remember the pattern, <laughs> was the, the golden sword goes in the middle, these two go on the sides, or maybe the tops, I'm not sure which. If I get it wrong, I've got it wrong. I'll do it the other way around. Right, that's so we get a solium dagger. Now when we kill, well, the end kill of the mob, you'll get their souls, and they go into these jars, I believe. I'm not sure if I need that for the end city. So for the time being, we'll put those away, and we'll put them into here. But I'll be doing some possibly off camera. Now here we've got some tablets. Ancient tablet of recall which is actually activated and it's got eight uses left. And we can also make another one. Something similar actually. Let's have a look at the uses of this one. We can here make a tablet of recall. So let's just get some a bone meal out. I think that is in one of these chests. I sometimes have difficulty in figure remembering which one it was. I really should start and do some bone meal, bone meal, bone meal will probably be in here. Like I said, we've got one piece, just enough. So we should be able to make this tablet. So a tablet of recall. Now it's slightly different, not the fact it's glowing. So you've got a little tick on the top here. So this one allows you to teleport to a memorized location. All the creatures around you will also be teleported. And this one doesn't have the all the creatures business. So let's go and activate these two. This is the end city here. Um, the only thing I would like to take with me is some f more food. I've got some. Let's take these roast chickens. I've got plenty of roast chickens in here, and I would actually like to make some more better food. So I'm going to put this other clock into here as well because I don't think you need the clock in the end. Not that it makes much difference. And in this bag, I have got some bits and pieces prepared. I've got some slabs actually, plenty of slabs because <laughs> we're going to use a lot of slabs when we go to the end. Um, I'm not going to take too much more with me. In fact, what I will do is I will do, I will leave this blue bag here. We don't need to take that with us. In fact, let's put it in this one here, this space. A hoe I don't need. So basically anything that I really don't need. I'll keep the fishing rod with me. Uh, I probably don't need this. I was going to disenchant some armour. And that's what this armour in here was for. So for instance, here we've got Feather Falling 3. Now, that's maybe that might be quite good if we've got night vision. Let's go and get those off here. So what I've got two books and the books should be also in here. We made these previously. I tried to do this on a book, but it doesn't work on a book. But it should work on an item. I say should because I actually haven't tested that either. I did build some more greys because we've got lots of souls. Now the, the lightning strike on these is different from the lightning strike in real in Minecraft, so you don't have, you don't need to worry about this. So what we have to do is we have to put this in our offhand, put put a book in here, and then we right click a grave, uh, like that. So then I've now got this enchanted book, pro projector projection three. What I would also like to do is I'd like to activate these two because we've actually got six graves. So, so that'll then teleport us to there, and we'll do the end city here. Because it takes away the, the spirit, the spirit disappears. The spirit's that little purple, that little purple dot. So we can get there and then we can get back to the end city. That's the idea of this. So here we go. Let's get rid of some more of these. Actually, I don't think I've got enough books with me now. Let's try it. The one I wanted was... Where, it, where are the boots gone to? Did I lose the boots? Oh, you can lose the... You can lose... Oh, no, there's still my offhand here with Feather Falling 3. That's the one I want. Let's get that off there. Now we've just got some golden boots with no enchants. And then we got got... Um, I want to also do this helmet. Night vision would be good. So let's go and get night... Let's get a couple more. Let's take these two enchants off if I can. Let's put that away. 
So the books are in here, aren't they? Certainly one would be sensible. We have enough helmets, to, so I could actually take a helmet with night vision. I don't think I need night vision where I, in the nether so much, uh, in the end, but we'll see. So let's put that into our offhand here. So it might not glass protection off first, I don't know. So what did we get that time? Feather falling three, projectile protection, blast protection I did, yes. So the last one here, we've got night vision. So let's go and quickly put those onto our well I've got fifty two I've got fifty two. Let's go into here and use the anvil and just put these quickly onto here. So I might actually take another helmet. And put the and put that onto this helmet. So let's put onto this helmet here, uh, night vision, and let's put onto the boots we're actually wearing because they've got some cool stuff on them anyway. These shadow step four is really cool, and I like this enchant immensely. It's really good. You can get really close to mobs. So let's put feather falling three on those. Not too expensive. The XP levels. Um, and I think what we'll do is we'll just put this. Let's have a look. What have we got now with a stick? I probably don't need. I'll just put these back books away. In fact, thinking about it would be sensible. Wrong place. The, the armor I keep in here. I think I've got some more armor with me here. Let's get that one out of there and put that into there. I don't think I've got any use for leather helmets whatsoever, but I'm going to check out the uses of that one. Just been chantable. Well, it's not very strong armor, so it's not much use. Probably just get rid of There was no way to get, get leather out of it, so that was that one. Sleeping bed, I probably don't need that. Oh, I'll put this away as well. And what else do we should take with us? I think that's basically everything. So I wanted to put away the pestle and mortar, we'll put the pestle and mortar in there we will take some wood with us so how much wood have we got with us just in case in here I've got 10 chests, I've got 25 birch wood I've got one plank, I'll get rid of that don't want the fishing rod, shears I don't need the shears, let's put those away in there and I think that'll do I've got an axe which will back the break <laughs> I would like to throw the axe away um, for the time being I'll just put it away somewhere Let's put it in here. Because we've got a proper Neptune axe here. So weapons. I've got my Captive Dreams weapon, which is the one I'd like to have. Um, so let's go. So what you do is you put the enchanted, enchanted tablet in your right in your hand. Just hold down the shift button and you'll te be teleported. So here we are. And you'll see some strange things already happening. I'm getting attacked. Ah. Oh. Yes, I'm getting attacked already. <laughs> so, where are we? Oh, there's some strange things up here. I wonder if I can get up on top of this. Nope. Right. <clears throat> so, there is obviously a shark around here somewhere. And there's some endermen over there. Oh, hello. Let's get him right. He's got me already. I'm not prepared for this. Let's just get to him. Three. Oh, there's two of them. Got to wait till they go down. And while it's doing this, I've got to get these guys. So they're going to hurt. Oh, okay, we can go up here. Now we know where they are, they're just beside the doorway. Let's get rid of this end thing. Let's take this out so it's not held up. Oh, hello, it's come out here now. Right, we've got our first one. And we've also got our first shulker shell. So the other one is just down here. We can see him. I can, if I'm right, click on, careful enough, I'll be able to get these things. Otherwise I'm going to fall down again. No, that's right, we can go up here, fine. <laughs> oh, we can't go too far now. We're looking a bit high. But we've got our <coughs> we've got our boots and we can now eat a piece of chicken. Some roast chicken will help a bit. Oh that keeps flicking off of course. So now we should we should be able to get into here. No we can't. So we should be able to get in anyway, so let's just make a hole. Um, here we'll do. 
and you'll see it coming out here. So basically this is one of these tunnels. So what I'll do is I'll just build a way in to get into that easier. So, so pepper pillars. We'll put a pepper pillar down here. Just come in here. So what the way I've been uh, I've got another block to remove. Okay. I probably be, I can hear the um shulkers, ar shulkers around here. So what we'll now do is we'll use these ones here. And we'll just use this to, to basically climb up. And this provides two things really. Well it lets you go up quite quickly. And you don't have to parkour your way up if you're not very good at parkouring like I'm not. So right at the top of there there will be a shortcut. And it also gives you the chance to go down again. So what might also be a good idea is to put one in the middle from time to time. So you don't fall all the way down. <clears throat> Let's carry on with these slabs. Oh there's one. So just watch it. Right, I've got hit again. But we should be able to go and get this guy as we're coming up. I would like to use this one. <laughs> yeah. Alright, got a second one. Keep over to this side if we can. <clears throat> There's a lot of activity around here at the moment. Hopefully we don't die in the process. <laughs> There's certainly a lot of these guys around. Oh, my health's very bad. Oh. Right, I'll have to take get the bow into action. We'll get rid of them the quicker that way. When they close, they, they're no longer <laughs> attackable. But as you can see, health is bad. <laughs> what happened there? Oh, there we go. Probably what would be a good idea is just to put a few bits and pieces down here so they can't come through. Um, <coughs> to eat some more anyway. Let's wait a few seconds. Oh, thing. I do need it in my hand but it's also a real nuisance at the same time. Let's go get the boat ready. Which one is attacking me? That one down there is. Missed it. They don't actually take much to kill, they just have to get them. Oh, that one sneaked in and got me. They only have to hit something in the process. Let's go over here. So, we should be a bit better off. I've got two shulker boxes, which isn't very good. There'll probably be a load of mobs, loads down there anyway. Um, so, now we've actually got to get down here. There's still another one. Or two. There's one. There's two. I can see them. Oops, too fast. I'm being quiet because I'm concentrating, of course. Got it. There's still another one around somewhere. <clears throat> 
But of course we can start to go down a bit now. Let's eat, eat again. I could get these chests, there's two chests beside us. Let's go get those two chests. Over that side. So what have we got in here? Some cor chorus pearls. We've got some more weapons and some armor, diamond armor, which is good. Let's just break these two chests. Um, axe. Now, I probably have got enough now actually to make a shulker box. Let's make a shulker box. We need a crafting table. We got some wood for that. I thought I'd be yep, four of these will do. Let's make a quick, let's make a quick shulker box. We can put the stuff that we've been collecting into that. See, this lost tablet now has actually disappeared. It's in, it's in chant is now disappeared, but these two we still have. So, right. Where did I put the crafting table here? So one of those with two of these around it will produce a shulker box. And with the shulker box we can start to put our, our awards into it. So gosh, I don't need those with me, do I? We're not going to be sleeping. Unripe ender pearls, some beetroot seeds, interesting. Tall iron, we've got all these weapons and pickaxes. Some good ones there as well, by the way. Reach four, wow. Sort that out, I can get rid of those, don't need those. Right, and then we can break up the shulker box with a pickaxe, isn't it? I think it's a pickaxe for this, not an axe. Yep. And we'll take this with us as well. <clears throat> there is another level up. Let's go and have a look on what's at the top here. Oh yeah, that's the one that's fighting. Oh, got him straight away. Oh, I'm being attacked at the same time. Got it. Just make sure I'm over the over the thing before we. Oh, another one. Where's that one coming from? Going up a lot higher than I would like to. <laughs> Bit of fall damage. Right, good. I think that's the top of this one cleared out. So let's go down. So the best way down here is probably going to be. I'm not sure how to get down here. Let's put some slabs around here. Bottom slabs or top slabs? I think. Top slabs always. And that one will also be a top slab. You can stand on the um, end rods no problem whatsoever, so that's good. So I didn't build a jetpack, and that was actually deliberate as it happens. I'm concentrating again. I think the top one didn't I? So there is another shulker somewhere about here. First of all, I'd like to go down to get the bits and pieces before everything, of course, disappears. I missed with that one. But stuff should start to come into our hot pot now, as you can as you can see. And of course, this also gives you a way back up. And I think actually the because then you can do basically go up like this. And if you want to, you can then put another. Where's that shulker? We probably need to go out that side anyway. 
I'm probably not going to record all of this because we got attacked around about here last time, didn't we? So if we go there, like that, and then we can get our way back again, good. So we need to go back up again to go into the next part of the next part of the end city. So there's one over here. So we need to get across to that side. Um, how are we going to do that? Probably just go straight across, I guess. Maybe we go through here. I put the slabs down here like this. I could probably go across. I need to just check as I go as I go out of here in case I see another. Yes, there's one. Look. And he disappeared. He's teleported somewhere else. And there's another one down here as well. I guess that we can come across here like this. And then we can get a sword into hand here and come up here. Maybe run even. Now he teleported as well. There we go, here we go again. <laughs> so I'm going to use that lifts. Oops. They seem to be teleporting a lot at the moment, it's strange. I'm not very good at good at hitting these things. Wait for them to open again. Good. That one I'm going to shoot with a bow, I think. Definitely some more about so. Oh yeah, there's one over there. You can see one through that window. What you sometimes have to do is to actually move blocks because you can't get past them like these two here. Once you go through there, of course, you can just go around here, and you can get at these guys from behind. Now, where is he? one look. So if I come here and just break this block here, he then teleports. Oops. <laughs> oh, he's teleported over here. Wait for him to open. Bang, bang. I think I got him, but I'm not 100% sure. Oh, there's no, it didn't look. Is there now? I have to wait for the levitation to go. Got him. That time, did I get any good things with from this? I'm not actually getting very many, very many shirkers boxes, which is a bit strange. Anyway, I'm going to carry on doing this. I'll eat, an, I'll eat another chicken, and I'll see you when I've reached the top of this. You see what I'm doing, anyway. There looks like there's another one over here somewhere because they're trying to get through the windows, and they can't. Must be on the outside. So to get around here, we do the same principle as we just did last time. It's a slightly different um, build, this one. <clears throat> but I don't think there are any shulkers around here. Let's just put it slab here like this. We'll take these two. I used I used or excavate to get rid of those two. I'll just fill it in like that. And then we can go up here quite easily. Get out of the bag of some more slabs. And carry on. So I'll see you in a while. Right, I'm at the very top of this tower here. Uh, as you can see, we might as well just take away some of these end rods as well. We're here, so they're always useful to have. 
hopefully we've got a roof above us so it's not too bad we shouldn't get pushed out of the out of here I mean off and of course there's always one shortcut box right at the top here but it wasn't too difficult this time oops I think there was a block in the way so here we come across to this one let's get my act my sword into hand and run for it. Just hiding in here a bit because they'll keep coming in. Maybe they get past here. I don't think they will in this case. <laughs> Bad timing. <laughs> See you in a while. <laughs> one thing that's quite good around here, because <clears throat> I've just almost done this tower, I think there's one more Slenderman around there. I just looked at him, I set up a little kill zone here for him, he disappeared. Let's go back down here. I think we've done this tower now, so that's completely done. This is done. What else have we got to do? There's one over there. I wonder if I can get to it. nothing much over there I think we did that roof over there I think we've done this roof over here uh, we need to get down to that one just to check up the top there you can see when you've been to places because you've got all the bricks in the way haven't you so you know exactly that you've been up there yes I have Here are a couple of Endermen. Actually, I think one of these is um, a baby. There's a baby Enderman in this pack. But let's just get these two guys. Where are we going to do this? I think I'll just do it here, to be honest with you. <laughs> We've got in interference in this um, on this sword here, and the disruption, and it stops them teleporting so much. It seems to have disappeared. Right, shame. So how? Where is the next one? I want to go up. It's here. Look. Oh, so we have to go down there. I think I've done that one already. We have to go down. Okay, this side. Let's do this. Yes, we haven't done it over this one. Oh, look. There's actually a few bits and pieces down there. Let's go and just go and get those. I don't know where they've gone, where they're from. Anyway, I'll tell you what. I'll be back in a second. Actually, there's a little baby Enderman there. They don't hurt. They, you'll notice on the mini-map they're actually marked as yellow, I think, um, <clears throat> as a mob. But where the shulker boxes are at the moment, I don't know. There must be one around because it just got got by one. <laughs> oh, look, there's one coming up here. Got it. So, of course, then you get to this point, you get a bit stuck, so just dig your way in <laughs> like that. There must be something around here. So we'll do the same thing as we've been doing. Just put slabs around, get down and go around. So I'll see you in a minute. Right, little kill zone here. I'll just go and get some endermen while we're looking at things. Let's see how many we can get to attract attention because you can't come in and hit me. Oh, we can. <laughs> Not very easily though. How many did I get that time? Well, actually, I've already got eight in the pearls. That's one behind me. Good. Got another one for them. So 
So that's what I'm going to do. Just going to get a few more ender pearls while I'm here because <laughs> I might as well take the opportunity for annoying these guys because they can't really do too much damage against me at the moment. And I'll see you in a short while. Next thing we're going to do is get some more bits and pieces from here since we're at the end. We might as well take some end stone. Go. Cool. As you can see, <laughs> not doing too badly with those things at the moment. And those little noises you hear are the baby endermen dying. I don't know why baby endermen tend to be dying so much, but they do tend to do it. So I'll see you in a short while when I've ground it. got a stack or two of ender pearls. So I'm back. And we've got this loot. We've got some endstone. We've got two stacks of endstone. Uh, endstone bricks. Of course, that's because I was breaking some of the, the, um, the city up. Um, we've got th three and a, almost three and a half stacks of ender pearls, fine. We've got these chorus pearls, I'm not quite sure what they do, but Forbidden and Arcanus have some interesting bits and pieces in there. We shall have to go and have a look at some more of those. In fact, I think I've got one out here. What time is it? It's night time. I'll tell you what, before I end this, this episode, I'll just have a quick pop outside and have a sleep, first of all. Or oh, maybe not, let me just take the risk. <laughs> That's that little tiny weeny worms pushing me around. I got some found some of these saplings just quite near to the base, and also here I've I've made the base a little bit secure. Um. So here we've got this uh, tree. And this is another forbidden on Arcanus tree. So I'm going to break it. I'll just arc <laughs> I'll just or excavate. It's probably the easiest way. <laughs> Take a while. And I have got, well, of course, we get a little bit of lag here. Let's put that into my hand. And you'll see what we get. We get this Meister Logwood, but we also get golden apples from this tree. Very interesting. And of course, I've not picked up everything. Let's put another sapling down here. I saw 24 saplings I got from that one from that one tree. So that's what they look That's a small version of it. That's what it looks like. Uh, and of course, the mobs can't see me because I've got my awesome boots on <laughs> you can get really close to these guys it's that's a disadvantage because you they they don't come to you so you have to take them off but you know that already put night vision on of course we've got night vision now probably easier to see people now if i use this sword on these guys like this guy because normally of course zombies can see you all the way up oh, that was effective quite a few times i'm doing this i'm going to get um heads like that don't know I didn't get ahead that time let's go and get the skeleton that time I got ahead I saw it come in so that's how you can get those crates and that's only four pal two there's a four pal three which would give you even better returns on heads I'll leave my night vision on because we can see what I've got, been doing. The only other change I made between episodes was to add an export uh, into here. And as you'll see, I've got quite a lot of... Actually, I'm picking up quite a few pumpkins from here. But gold essence is slowly coming in. Um, and the gold should be this one. Gold seeds. If, and all the rest of these, I also did this to make sure that it's trample-proof and accelerated growth. And it makes a difference. Uh, it's significant. It's actually much better than the early game um, for mystical agriculture for the speed ups and here. This, of course, is also doing not too badly. I've got two bo books now, and this one, I guess, is full. <laughs> so we've got sand and clay. But so between episodes, I'm going to have to sort. Doesn't sort. I'm going to have to um, clear all of this stuff out and empty my inventory, and we'll make some of those machines for the next episode. There is one thing I did, did, you may have noticed on that door, I put a stone pressure plate. But of course I could have used those player filters, mob filters, from Dark Utilities instead of a door. Probably should do that. It's a lot easier to get in and out because you don't have to worry about anything to walk through. Anyway, until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.